Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Today I'm bringing you along for three different meals, uh, two of which I cooked. One I cooked for me and Bryant. The second one I cooked for the entire church. And the third one uh, was a meal that Bryant and I just went to. So at the end of the first meal, it looks like I'm ending the video because I really thought I was. And then I decided to add on these two other things. So just don't hang up. Don't leave me after the first meal because you got two more coming. And the last one's really short. So anyway, thank you guys. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Yes, I'm looking a hot mess. If you're new here, I normally, well, okay, I normally look this way, but sometimes I have makeup on. Not today, because let me tell you why. Today is a beautiful, absolutely gorgeous day, but it is cold. It is springtime. I want to be outside, but it is too cold for me right now. So guess what I am doing? Drum roll. I am working on my cookbook. So I have covered up in a blanket. I have made coffee, although I'm kind of coffeeed out. I've already had one, whole, I think, a whole pot. So I'm like floating in coffee. Um, and I am sitting in my recliner working on my cookbook. But we're going to do a what's for supper less. And we are doing, um, we're going to do marinated pork chops. Bryant's going to grill them for us. I'm going to do um, some turnip greens that I've frozen. i got to get those out of the freezer. And we're going to do some sweet potatoes. And we're going to open up a can of my canned, home canned pintos. We're going to try those and see how they worked out. I have always cooked my pintos from dried beans, cook them on the stove, cook them forever. Done them in the crock pot, done them in the instant pot. I prefer them on the stove top. That's just me. You do you. I like a really thick, thick, thick um, uh, juice. And so, anyway, I canned some back in the fall or winter. And this is the first time I'm opening a can. So we're going to see how they turned out and if I need to cook them any longer to see what we're going to do. Um, I did not season them other than with salt. So we may throw some ham in there while I warm them up just to help get a little bit of flavor in there. And we're going to marinate our, our pork chops. So we're going to start on the marinade. I'll bring you back. I'll meet you right here. Run the intro. If you haven't subscribed, the intro is a great time to do it. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is Okay, so hopefully by the end of this video I may look a little better but I'm not promising because if I all I can do today is work on my cookbook then that's what I'm going to do. So, but let's get started on this marinade. All right, so the first thing I want to get out is some brown sugar. We're doing pork chops. Now, it's best if you have the thicker ones with the bone in. I think these are just some off of the pork um, pork loin that we have sliced up. So, um, y'all, just do you. Okay, I'm doing two tablespoons, and I'm packing it, and then I'm going to kind of heat this one and I'm going to get a little extra on that one. So basically two tablespoons of brown sugar. I'm going to go in with a tablespoon. Whoops, let's shake that up. Of Dijon mustard. And there we go. Uh, 
All right, we're going in with a fourth of a cup of olive oil. Which is probably about all I have left. That leaves me a little bit. We're going in with a fourth of a cup of soy sauce. Now, if I had fresh garlic or even minced garlic, I would be using that. But I'm out of even minced garlic, and that never happens here. So I'm going in with some garlic powder. There we go. All right. I'm going in with about an eighth of a teaspoon. Let me dump some of that out of black pepper. All right. Let's see, I think that's all we need now. I just need to get a whisk, and we are going to whisk that up really good. Yummo, yummo. All right, I'm gonna pour this in my bag of, they're actually still partially frozen, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in my bag of pork chops. Let me grab those. I call these pork chops, but I know they're just part of the pork loin, but just bear with me with what I call them. And I'm just gonna pour this in. And as they, they thaw, I'll come over and massage the bag. All right. There we go. All right, I'm gonna zip this up. I'm gonna get a bowl in case there's a leak in the bag. And, um, I will just kind of, as they thaw throughout the day, I will massage them in. Okay, I'll see you back in just a minute. Okay, everyone, so I just poured up the pintos, and I thought I would see how soft they are. They're surprisingly soft. That is awesome. Okay, so I'm just going to heat those up. I'm excited. That was my home can pintos. Super duper excited about that. here and it's the first time I've ever canned pintos and they are amazing. Have you tasted them? They are good. They are delicious. The turnip greens are some that I, that you know, the gentleman who brings them and leaves them out on my carport and I can tell, I can tell when I get tired 
of um, steaming. steaming and because the leaves get bigger and bigger. <laughs> and so I did take my shears and kind of go through them a little bit. All right, so you bless them. Let's see. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we love you. We thank you. We ask that you bless this food to the nourish our bodies. Lord, may we be active in service for you. Lord, we love you with all of our hearts. In Jesus' name, amen. Most of the time we do that off camera, but today we did it on camera because we uh, we didn't do it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't prepare ahead of time. I want to taste this pork chop. He grilled them for me. I marinated them. And he said he likes the marinade. It's delicious. Mmm. That is good. Super simple. What's in the marinade? Soy sauce, brown sugar. You guys saw it. Soy sauce, brown sugar. Um, garlic, oil, pepper. Probably could have done without the oil. Here comes my favorite part. The potato is really good. Mm hmm How's that? Do you want pickled beets? Not right now. But I do have chow chow on my pintos. Yep, we got chow chow that we'll eat with it. Pickled beets. And I got out some bread and butter. Pickles that I got from the Amish store. So, all right, all right, guys. That's well, a wrap. we just wanted you to join us for this um, supper. We're gonna just hang out here and eat. Oh, I don't have vinegar for my greens. I thought I brought the vinegar over here, but I didn't. Okay, you did. Did you? Was it over here? I did bring it over here, and he moved it. <laughs> No, you didn't. I did. <laughs> All right, guys. We will see you next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember, the grease is hot enough. You can fry anything. Bye, y'all. Bye, guys. So, how was your day? Really good. <laughs> you going to get your vinegar? Mm hmm I am. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to take you guys with me um, for two dinners that we are having. One of which is for our church family. So we're cooking um, a large quantity of things. And it's not um, home, you know, there's, when you cook for a crowd, sometimes you have to use canned so we're going to doctor those up and um, work on those and, and show you how we do it. The other meal is going to be just me and Brian. We're going to cook um, just an easy, quick supper for just us. So Judah and I are now on the way to Sam's to get some of the things we need um, for um, the church meal. And then we're going to end up at the um, fellowship hall working on it. Um, so come on ahead and come on with us and enjoy it. If you're new here, my name's Leslie. I'm the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content mainly on cooking, a lot of farming, and day in the life of grocery hauls, and just a little bit of everything you'll get here. So welcome. I'd love for you to hit subscribe, hit that bell notification. And if you're back, if you're one of my loyal faithful subscribers. Thank you. You know how much I love and appreciate you. Okay, let's go to Sam's. Oh me, and I got Judah Bug with me. And I just went to Sam's yesterday. everybody so as you know I've already mentioned that we're fixing for the church this is our monthly feast with friends and we've got a big thing of stew beef we've combined it all into one and um, we cook this all night with onion and salt how many pounds is that 34 35 something like that 
-hmm. And it's gonna be good. We're gonna serve it over rice, which we'll do that later. I, I've already showed you the rice. We're gonna do minute rice, which is one to one. It's just freeze dried rice is all it is. And you just add the same amount. And we got green beans Ooh. going. I'm gonna leave this lid off so the water will cook out of that a little bit. And over here, What is that? Got some good old pintos cooking. Look at there. And there's some bacon in there. Oh, it's gonna be good. And we've got potato salad in the refrigerator, not homemade. Let me tell you, if you've never tried Sam's potato salad, you need to try it. What kind is it? Sam's Club, Members Mark. Do they hear that refrigerator that's on its last Yeah, the refrigerator's knocking. Um, this is absolutely Next to homemade, of course, is the absolute best potato salad anywhere. And then I just got rolls from Sam's as well, and we're just going to serve those. I've got some trash over here to throw away. But yeah, so I'm in the midst of putting things together and cleaning up and getting ready for our meal. Okay, everybody, we got two big batches of minute rice that is ready, and we've taken it off the heat. It's just hanging out, staying warm. What you got in there? Minute rice, salt, and butter. All right. And we got another pot over there. Got two of them. How much does it make? Uh, hmm. well, I don't know the total volume. 36 was, cups. Okay, 36 cups. Yep. Each, so each, each one has 36 cups. Mm -hmm. So, yep, there you go. Well, our meal last night at church was absolutely amazing. That was our second meal this week. <coughs> and it was absolutely delicious. Stew beef, green beans, pintos, everything was a hit. It was wonderful. And the potato salad, oh my goodness, is delicious. So we are headed to our third and final meal for this video. And it's one I'm not cooking. As you can tell, I'm dressed up. I'm not dressed up. Yes, he is. He's dressed up. And uh, we are going to our mayor's prayer breakfast. Our dear sweet friend, William Lanier, um, and his daughter-in-law and son have invited us to sit at their table at the mayor's prayer breakfast. So we're going to a breakfast that I don't have to cook, that I just get to go and enjoy and pray. So um, we, I, I will see you guys there. I'll video a little bit there. And, um, Do you have and, a guest speaker? Who's the guest speaker? I think it's Rusty LaRue, who was on the oh, 19, Wake 1992 Chicago Bulls uh, World Championship NBA team. I've actually met L uh, Rusty LaRue about uh, four years, five years ago when they opened a restaurant here in town. Um, he was also the um, basketball coach. At Wake, Forest. at Wake Forest for a little while. He had some tragedy. He had a son get killed in an automobile accident. His son was either a senior in high school or a freshman in college. I can't remember which one. And uh, he also coached basketball, I think, at Versailles Country Day School, which is a private high school there in Winston-Salem. And some of our uh, uh, friends and acquaintances went to school and played on his team there. So uh, we know of him. We're not perfect. But, uh, he's got a powerful testimony and look forward to hearing that today. Yep. So guys, uh, I probably won't video any of his testimony because I want to pay attention, but I will video some of the breakfast and um, I'll come on and say goodbye after we leave. Leave him alone. He's crying about it if he cares. So, you know, for me, Okay, everyone, we've left the breakfast. I did not film a whole lot, but it was really good. What do you think? Yep, Rusty did a great job. I was wrong. It wasn't 1992. It was 1998 Chicago Bulls championship. 1998 Chicago Bulls. He played with Michael Jordan. I did not know that. Yep, I knew that. And um, so, yeah, it was really good. And um, what was even better was a bunch of believers in the same room praying and knowing that that is happening probably all over America because today is the National Day of Prayer, so. I'm gonna say there was probably 400 people in yeah. the room probably. 
yeah, it was it was a huge event, and uh, we were super honored and blessed to be there. Yeah, so we uh, we thank Sarah for her invite for being able to be there and uh, being a part of this for breakfast today. So. Yep. Okay, so we are gonna head home. Head to work. Hey, uh, service hay equipment today. Hay equipment service day. Oh goodness, that means hay season is around the corner, and y'all know. Tell them how many rolls. My disdain for hay season. Tell them how many rolls of hay that we roll during hay season. Six hundred, I'm guessing. I don't know. Nine hundred. Eight hundred. Eight hundred. I didn't know. <laughs> I should know. I was out there raking it. Yeah. So but anyway, that, that's about somewhere, somewhere <laughs> between seven and eight hundred rolls. It depends uh, on, on the rain and the chicken litter. All right, guys. Well, I will come on and say goodbye to you when we get home, and um, I'll see you there. Okay, everyone. I am back home. I am in the recliner. I've changed clothes. I am about to freeze. Um, I did not sleep good last night, and therefore, I do not feel good today. So, I am. I have so much to do today. I have some cooking I want to do. I have some cleaning I want to do because I really want to do some things on Saturday. I need to go get a new computer. And so I want to go do that Saturday or tonight, <laughs> but I'm not feeling good. So anyway, I've got to clean house and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to nap for a little bit. And then after lunch, get up because I did not sleep a wink last night. Not a wink. I woke up at 1.20 and it was over. And, um, I almost didn't go to the breakfast this morning, but, um, th those events are very special to Bryant and I want, I, he supports me in everything I do. So I want to support him as well. So, um, we went and he told me, he says, Leslie, just take the rest of the day off. Just lay, go back to bed if you need to. And I don't like going back to bed. So I'm going to sit in my recliner. I'm going to nap. And after lunch, I'm going to get up and I'm going to start picking up the house so that tomorrow I can clean the house and uh it be top notch and then saturday whatever i need to do i can do on saturday and i can do some cooking on saturday and so forth and i can do some cooking tomorrow if i get a lot of the picking up done today cleaning will go super easy tomorrow and fast so yeah all right so i'm gonna take a nap but i'm gonna let you go for today and i will see you guys next time right here on the farm and pastor's wife thank you so much for joining me remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.